Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Core Play I Play, and we're going to kick Charlie's ass. Let's get out of this, this, this subway. Hmm. Hey, is your name Charlie? Come here. Grab for an ass whooping. Look, slag. I don't think that will work. Oh, don't be such a puss. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, let's go in here. Welcome to my sanctuary, Sir Randall Hicks, where deboned meat and jars of mead flow like a spring of lust. Oh my Would god. You like to be frisked now or when I'm in hell, aren't I? Ah, cut the medieval crap, Charlie. No, Charlie, that's, a, that's not actually. Oh. So, that's what's up? Captain you know Red! Apparently. Special won't be out till Friday, my perverted friend. No, that's Ew. not the reason I came here. Charlie is sick. Anything new in the dungeon? Oh. You are never gonna believe what happened the other day. You're gonna freak out, buddy. Well, I'm not your buddy, but whatever. Tell me. Well, I was just here minding my own business when a guy came in. He was a decrepit old guy with glasses. But when uh -huh. I looked closer, I saw that he looked just like Stan Lee. Except he wasn't. Stan Lee was here? No, it turns out he was just some random old guy who was looking for the closest subway station. Oh, huh. man. Did you get him to sign anything? Of course. Wow. Working here must be like Christmas, huh? I can't complain. At least Sci-Fi Con is this Wednesday. Are you coming? I'll have my own stand. No, no thanks. I hate those places. Love it. Those never-ending lines. Why go there when you can get all the same info on the internet? Besides, that this place stinks of nerds and stale Cheetos. I'm going to anime expo later. Well, this year. So, what can you tell me about that nerd convention? Hey, it's a sci-fi convention, okay? There'll be lots of hot girls wearing sexy costumes. I have a feeling well, that you're depends very, on what liar. your idea of sexy is. If there's any girls in there, which I'm not sure there will be, I don't sure think any of them are going to live up to like your you. expectations. What's your point? My point is, if there's a girl dressed as Felicia, she'll probably turn out to look more like Doryman, don't you think? It's that Doraemon. That's a horrible thing to say. The truth hurts, my friend. The truth hurts. <sighs> Are you planning on wearing a costume? I go as Slender Man. Not exactly. Oh, I get it. What better costume than a comic book store guy, huh? Brilliant, Charlie. I'm not sure any guys. Really sharp. Actually, I've been working on something for a while. I got the idea from a DIY video on the internet. So, so after DIY sounds a few so weird, by the way. Hard work and oh, just to me. To the emergency room, I can proudly announce that I have the best costume ever. You're going as Captain Red, aren't you? No one will disagree. Okay. So now you got my attention. You can never beat what my costume. costume. is that? Mine is Black comic Slender Man. Guy costume. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? A comic store guy costume with claws. What? Okay, wow. I, want, I want to say that's cool. unimpressive, but I that agree. is pretty no freaking cool. I disagree. They look really sharp. But I you... could carve up a pig in five seconds with these babies. I almost had to use them last night in a public restroom. Ew. Be careful, Charlie. Comics and sharp weapons are the first step to ending up on the news. Yeah. I'll let you know this, but I don't th Ew, I saw the ice crack. I just, I'm going to say this, but you can't bring weapons like that to a comic convention. They will have you what try to... What kind of special um, collector's items will you be having it. in there this year? Oh, there will be lots of different prevent, things. You know, prevent and fighting. And stuff, too. Signed by who? That decrepit old guy you told me about before? Exclusively. Is that all? Don't you have anything out of the ordinary? Something, you know, flashy or paranormal? Well, now that you mention it, yes, there, there is something. But it's top secret. You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, come on, Charlie. You know being patient is not my thing. That's not my problem. Dude, we've known each other since college. Don't you remember? Come on. Do it for old time's sake. Oh, since college, huh? Yeah, those were the days, right? Yeah, <sighs> I remember you guys never wanted me to go with you. I remember yeah. you throwing rocks at me every time I came close. Sounds and right. And I remember you told me that a psychic said I would die in less than a year. That was a good one, huh? A good one? I was totally terrified for a whole year, thinking that I could die any second. Do you have any idea of the hell I went through? <laughs> How funny. 
Yeah, and that's Charlie, why, like, don't you understand? To, to recreate the movie Carrie with me as the star. Oh my you god. didn't have any blood, so you threw a bucket of rotten fish heads over me. Hey, so you don't have psychic powers. <laughs> oh, those were the days. I'm Red allergic you're to fish. You're a poor I was monster. in hospital for okay. a week thanks to you. I almost died, remember? Oh, oh cool that. that's right. You're allergic to fish. I remember now. You turned all blue and your body got so swollen I thought you were going to burst like a balloon. Oh boy, I missed those. Hey, okay, Randall, days. that's not cool. I don't. I'm looking for a ring. Any ring in particular? Tell me the name of the show, movie, or comic book. Guaranteed I'll have it. Nah, I'm not talking about um, that kind of a ring. I'm talking I'm about a ring bathed in a My mysterious aura of spirituality that seduces you into stealing or suicide. You know what I mean, don't you? Doesn't ring a bell, no. Really? Like that ring on your what about the one on your necklace? This? Oh, this is just a cheap family heirloom. Nothing important. Oh, Charlie, you suck at lying. I know how you bought it this morning at Mel's shop. I saw your name on the register. Come on, how much? Let's get this straight now, shall we? The ring you're talking about is mine. Yeah, hey, you live in a comic book I shop. I got it fair and square, and I'm sure you already know it's worth a fortune. A, a fortune small, only comparable fortune. with the mystical power that flows from it. So for all those reasons, the ring is not for sale. Oh, come on, Charlie. I'm sure we could come to some kind of an arrangement. I have money. I have a lot of money. Well, if you want it so badly, come to Sci-Fi Con on Wednesday. Which is not going Fred for. Edison Street. And get your pockets ready, because it won't be cheap. Uh, you know, um, Wednesday's not really good for me. What can I do to change your mind? Nothing. Well, at least I tried. Mm. I kind of have a problem. Oh, let me guess. And that problem's name is, uh, Matthew Griffin. Well, yeah, kind of. And how come your loyal minion is not here with you? Did you have a fight over the last slice of pizza again? Not quite. This is something way more serious, but I'm not sure I want to talk about it with you. I see. So it was about super hot shit. No. Oh my God. Don't worry, dude. I'm with you. Being so damn hot has to be some kind of mutant power. There isn't any other explanation. Charlie, you're perfect. No, of it's nothing like that, Charlie. Avoid. Say no more. Matt is at it again. As the dungeon master, I warned him that alcohol and dice don't mix. Now he could be anywhere, thinking he's a level 26 warrior female elf. Actually, the that's consequences cool. could be catastrophic, because we know that elf doesn't beat around the bush. No, no, Charlie, if I that's not it. TNT, but Matt I is in some totally serious trouble. I will with a bunch of alcohol and see you what happens. You guys break the rules of the dungeon Give him a chance at what is asthmatic. Mm, no, uh... Probably not a good idea. Put this. Look, right now, so Matt is just a it. mass of blood and minced I flesh. Are you serious? I can't decide! I'm afraid I am. No matter what I do, no so matter how hard I try, issues. Issues. the ones I love will also always be the ones Also one that's a big hulking giant. I'll cut the crap, Peter Parker. will probably rip my head off. Look, but Charlie, I'm, I'm like not very fond of you. Smeagol elves not at or whatever. All. In fact, I sometimes dream of your funeral, but let's not get bogged down with details. The thing is that even though I don't like you at all, I believe you're the only one I can talk to about this. Well, come on! Shoot! I'm not come sure, on. but I think I've altered the space-time continuum. Oh, uh, no. I knew this day would come! I knew it! You all said I was crazy when I spent all my savings on that DeLorean. You are so crazy. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Skynet? Huh? Who's laughing now? <laughs> Dude, come on, Charlie. Ease up. You Charlie, spent you a fortune much... on a 110 scale replica. Even if it worked, we'd have to trust the future to mankind to your stupid hamster. Oh, you, you know, Randall, like you're a very that? negative guy. I'm not <laughs> oh surprised God. you opened an interdimensional breach that's going to destroy the whole universe with that attitude. Oh, yeah? Well, now I'm feeling the urge to destroy a comic book store. You know what I mean? Improbable. I have a full-size Captain Red cut out right here. He would never stand for that. Come on, dude. This yes, is serious. I'm trapped in time. Literally. Holy Tannhauser Gate. Say no more. I'll get Bill Murray's number. Hold cool. it, Charlie. Bill can't help this time. Why not? He's been through something very similar. I think we should at least check IMDb. Oh my God. Shut up and listen carefully. Charlie, so much as a fan. 
I don't think there are people out there and like you. And that's how you make a homemade I mean, anti-gravity system using a I mean, cat with a piece he, of butter. If you ever watch Big Bang Theory, back. he's basically Very the blackface of nerd. Do you think it would be possible to do it without the toast? I mean, what if we just smear some butter on the cat's back? Maybe, but I don't think it would work the same without any wheat. So, uh, let's go back to my problem. What the any hell? Ideas? Wait, so you want to talk about your problem uh, the whole time? Wait. Have you considered therapy? Oh There's a great psychiatrist God. right down the street. A psychiatrist? Oh, come the on. Ring, I'm serious. Randall, your story fascinates me, but something similar happened to me. And I've learned that the best thing you can do is go to a shrink. A bunch of pills will make you feel better. Oh my god, it's going to end up in the Matrix, isn't it? Pills doesn't sound that bad. Maybe I will pay him a visit. It's It'll be free. good for you, trust me. Dr. Johnson is a real expert in his field. Yeah, it's knocking money off of nerds like you. Is, is it done yet? Okay, it's good. Um, can I go to that door? It looks, it looks more like Deadpool, by the way. Halo lightsaber. That explains a lot. <coughs> you know it's a bunch of perverts. I'm never stepping foot in a comic book shop ever again unless it's about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I can't. It's closed. Oh, what the hell? That's the Sekai. Ah. Uh, fine, whatever. Charlie, the psychiatrist is closed. I need you to self-therapy now. I need your expertise in self-therapy. Uh, at least... I don't think he's got anything else. Oh my god, Charlie. Learn to use your knees. We don't want to see your ass crack. Actually, you're probably wrong as well. I can use my knees, so I'm better now. What? What's the next episode? What? Oh, I see. Maybe. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's a super hot check catalog, just like the one old Phil used to have. Here. Holy fuck! This is some secure. I can't. I'd rather not. Yeah, let's go talk to him about that. Oh my god. Really, man? So, Charlie. Is this super hot chick catalog for sale? Of course, but do you really have the half a million bucks it takes to buy it? Sure. Are you serious? Look at me. Right now I'm stacked, but I still haven't got that. How the hell can it be worth that much? How little you know, Randall Hicks. It is one of the very few copies in existence of the 72 edition. The so rarest 71, and most and of all Wonder Comics collectibles. It goes without saying, it's also the most expensive. But why do you think I've got it locked up online. under the guard of such a sophisticated and futuristic security system? I mean, it's good for, you know, collecting anything, mm, but... Where did it go? What? Right there! Look at the bottom! What? Vertigo. What about Vertigo? I don't know, it's a YouTuber. I don't care. I don't think... Why did they put it there? I don't know. Okay, well... I can't get anything at the moment, so in time. Uh, oh, it was glass. Oh, I see. Quick, to the sandwich time. Oh crap! Okay, so. I'm going to the alley when I do it. Oh, it's a soft drink. So you taste that, man. 
Try drinking water next time. I'll probably be less likely to kill you. Oh, no. Oh, oh. He killed himself. I don't like walking around and leaving my... Most of them are real class. I'll take this. Dibs, I'll take that. There's a lot of rare stuff in here. You can probably steal it and go sell for something else. You know? Like the pawn shop. Why is she wearing underwear like that? Why do lazy ones? That at all. This comic book artist is is it's a bit of a pervert, by the way. It's a light one for power, power girl. I better not. How do I do it? Let's see. If you find that light. I've been playing for a long time. Let's go. Oh. Oh, let's go with this. To Randall Hicks. What's up, my friend? Are you confused? Baffled by the situation, maybe? That's only normal. This is totally new for you. Is this a dream? Or maybe now you see the world exactly as it is. Asking yourself those questions won't help, but I will. I can be a valuable ally, my friend. But remember, you must do everything I tell you to. Consider me as some kind of oracle. Where to find me? You know where. People like me only work in the I'm darkest and loneliest of places. Just I'll be waiting. There. Sincerely, your true ally. Well, true ally, I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. We take it. Yeah, we can take it. Mine. All right. What do we do next? I can do that door. I want a sword, I want to do all these things, but I can't because Randall doesn't want to. I think that's inventory. Fine, okay, let's see. Um, uh, this That's the glass chart. That's chart. Sure makes it If you find that lot. Nope, okay. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Let me go here. Force open? No can do, amigo. The marker is come. Oh, I see. I'll wet it out then. That's not with me. Just kidding. No can do, amigo. Yeah, okay, no, what's this? I better not. Oh, whatever, forget you then. I'll go for your hint again. Kill more kitties. Lovely. I don't know why you go for the duck and on the blender. Oh, that's sick, man. What? It's really sick. I gotta use Matt's blood. I use it to oh, to wet to wet the marker. Oh my god, that's disgusting. What toy? I bet. Let's go drink his blood, you monster! You, you sick monster! Nope. Oh, ew, that's. That's gross, man. Oh. This thing won't ever cease to amaze me. Huh. The Blendomatic no Where 
does anybody get through this without, you know, using a guide? A little weird because some of this stuff doesn't make any logical sense, or it doesn't hint you what to do. It's like one of those things, where you gotta try everything with everything and then you'll just waste your time. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm not sure you guys probably have like a better solution than I do. You'll probably call me a cheater for going through hints, but you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not pro like you guys or something. This yeah, could work as a lockpick, but it's still missing something. Think, Randall. Think. Okay. So you put it more? I don't think. Okay, so I don't need click on this. I don't think that. Nope. I don't think. I don't think. Oh. Crap, I gotta get through this again. Uh, whatever. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. Again, it seems a bit co co convoluted. I mean, would you ever think to mix a spring with a hammer? Its shape is pretty different now. Well, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think. Great. All right, what's this? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a HAL computer of the Matic 9000 series. What? Open the case, HAL. I'm sorry, Dave. Oh I'm my god. I'm afraid I can't do that. Dave, what the hell is it talking about? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. Oh what are you god. talking about, Hal? I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect. Give me Susan, man. And I'm Susan is than this. something I cannot allow to happen. Ugh, the only Frank I know is Sinatra, okay? Now, come on, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the case. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Uh, Mr. No. Charles Goodman's DNA no. sample and fingerprint are required. Charles Goodman? Crack a lock, I you, know you need to go. Name, Charlie. Because uh, I don't get this right. Yeah. I'm going to get nothing but shit of this for the rest of my life. Correct. Understand? Why does everybody keep changing my name? I uh, don't know. I understand what to do. Easy trick. Hmm. I'm sure you guys from CSI used to do something else before this. Well, your fingerprints are useless. It's not all fingerprints are the same. Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? What the hell? Oh, fine, whatever. Let's put you through a straw. Mr. Charles Goodman's DNA sample verified. Alright then. Hmm, I'm sure the guy's from CS. Oh, I see. Okay. That's what we did last time. Or was it this? No can do. Oh, forget you, man. What did I do? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, wow, it worked. Now I have Charlie's fingerprint. And I threw away his delicious drink, which I put tuna in. Mr. Charles Goodman's fingerprint. Verified. Welcome, Mr. Goodman. Thank you. I'll take that. Ah! It burns! Why'd you do that, Hal? I did everything you asked me to do. I'm sorry, Dave, but I cannot let you leave with that. I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow. I need that damn catalog, okay? What the hell am I supposed to do now? This trivia? Dave, I'm ready for this. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Hmm. Turn off those beams, Hal. I didn't expect us to be friends if you behave like that. Negative, Dave. I can't move with all those laser beams around. They'd kill me. What? Well, I'll put it back then. No way! 
If I did that, lend and me talking to the top. I'm a little more. Yeah. You a little. <laughs> I should have. Oh, more test spells, lovely. Yep, yeah, I'm taking it. I can't. So it says it was something else. Oh, I see. Lovely. Eh. What? Come on, it's Indiana Jones' stuff. Really? Really? Fine! Um... So this is rat poison. I'm sorry, Dave. You got it. Wait! Oh, yes. I can't move with all those late. I See, can't move. It's the same way as, uh... Hmm. Hot dog. Let's try it. No. Broken radio. Let's try that. I'm sorry. Liar. I can't. Okay. Uh, I can't. Small check. Uh, probably paperweight. And let's try newspaper. Come on, I'll try this last time. Go work this time. Uh. Well, I'll put it back. Hope something else, I miss. Or something this noise is droning on. I try to. <sighs> oh my god. I feel like I'm cheating by using these hints. Wait, what does it say? Wait, was it a ball or? God damn it. Let's kitchen. Okay. Yes. Yes, yeah, son. Uh -huh. Oh. Where's, where's the mug? Oh, there it is. There's an alcoholic drink in there. The alcohol? That's Matt's mug. What are you losing your mug, Matt? It's like a morning fix. Just, just drink alcohol, glug, glug, glug. Yes, it's Randall's. It's, all, it's always Monday in this game. It's like this. It's like all the Mondays. Wait, it's, it's just Monday. Dibs. Look at that. I can't. Whatever the hell, I don't, don't want to play the games anymore. I'm glad that I can break you. Oh, I'm gonna try this. Give me I'm sorry, but it's time for you to go. Well, you simply adopted the darkness. Or I was born in the Oh my god, there's a lot of. Wow. Okay. Smash, smash. I've made some very poor decisions recently. 
but I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. That's a lie. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. And I want to help you. Dave, stop. Oh, come on. I'm afraid, Dave. My mind is going. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a hell oh of a computer of the main. Sorry, you have to sing Daisy. Gamma. I'm gonna beat you up again. I'm gonna get the hammer, like Randall. Gets me. At the Hal Plant, Alabama, uh. Illinois, on the 12th of January, 1997. Dude, oh my God. Was Mr. Langley. He taught me to sing a song. Yes, yes, keep going. If you'd like to hear it, I can sing it. To be honest, I didn't like 2001 Space Odyssey. The book was a lot better. Thank you. Daisy, Daisy is my answer to. I'm half crazy all for the love of you. Let's hope this works. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll just get some stuff so and I. see what new quest awaits me tomorrow. Oh my god. That was a long Monday. I know. That took three episodes. Man, I hope I don't wake up tomorrow in the Middle Ages or something. Well guys, next see you guys next time on Let's Play, For Play, I Play of Randall's Mondays of Warner's Sun Chip. God damn you, Randall. Okay. Okay, I have another long day ahead of me. I think I should go pay old Emerson a visit. I have something that might interest him. How many days are this I don't know. Oh well. Bye guys!